Welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording YouTube channel. I'm Justin, and today we are going to show you our desk behind us and all the gear and stuff that's on it and in it. Uh, but before we get there, uh, we want to say thank you to everybody who has liked, subscribed, commented, uh, shared videos that we have made on our YouTube channel uh, and that we've shown on our social media platforms. Uh, if you have any ideas for videos that you want us to do or you know, just want to say a quick hi or something, uh, send us a comment or an email or find us on social media. There'll be links to all of this in the description below. Um, and we, you know, we'll do our best to get back to you guys and, uh, and respond. So let's get to looking at what's in the desk behind us here. Okay, so here's our desk and kind of a close up of everything that's on it. Um, and as we kind of go through here, we'll uh, kind of tell you what we're using and why. Uh, so on the right side here, you've got all of our preamps. There's uh, Motu, uh, it's a 828, I believe, um, Mark III. It's one of the hybrid ones where you got USB and FireWire on the back. Uh, but it also gives us like 28 inputs, which is crazy. Um, basically using the Motu's I.O., which is quarter inch on the back, to uh, go in and out of our compressor hardware that is on the left here. Um, but anyways, we'll get to that here in a second. And then underneath the Motu is two Focusrite Octopre Dynamics, which has eight mic pre's and each mic pre has its own compressor built into it uh, just to kind of give you a close-up here um, you can see there's there's a top knob and a bottom knob on the focus right and basically the top knob is your input you know your gain and then you've got uh, a compressor which you can kind of see in this photo or this this video here um, that says compress and then you can go really hard or really light depending on what you want and it's set to some ratio and to be honest I don't know what they are. Um, there's a more button that kind of enhance more like I think it's supposed to kind of do like the over compressed type sound but really haven't found much use for it. Um, so we just kind of leave it disengaged um, and it's got meters next to it. Um, and then we do use the two mic pre's in the Mo2 on top in case we need to plug in real quick or for room mics or just kind of your, you know, quick access stuff. Uh, and then we'll move over to the left side of the desk here. We've got a warm audio uh, WA76 compressor in the middle. That's what that guy's doing. Um, and it's kind of set to do just a massive amount of compression, kind of your dirty drum compressor type thing, um, all buttons type thing. Anyways, and then on top of that, which you can kind of see here, all lit up, is the bus comp, also by Warm. And that's our master bus compressor, and it's great. It's, uh, it's kind of like a mixture, from what I can tell, API and SSL, kind of if you were to combine those two. And they are great. Um, both of those companies are great. But this is also a great unit in its own right. Um, it's got two massive transformers in it, which you can disengage with this button right here. You can just kind of press it in and out. And also, um, if I decide I don't want compressor and I just want that transformer sound, I'll just turn the compressor off on it and just use the transformers. It's, it's a great unit. Um, and then we got a Furman underneath all of that, that, that all this is plugged in for power. And then you might want to know what this guy is here. Um, not the flask that you can see. There's the flask. That was kind of a gift. Anyways, um, focus. Camera's not focusing here. Anyways, um, this guy here is a DBX 118, and they're haven't been in, they haven't been made in a long time. Um, honestly, not sure the year on this, but I bought it from a guy, um, Joe Chaddock in. Uh, he's got a podcast that's really great. Anyways, um, he was selling it, selling some analog gear, and I bought it off him. It's a great compressor. I use it for bass right now, but it's hard lined in. We could use it for whatever whatever we felt like, bass or guitars or drums. It, it's just kind of got that DBX sound. Um, and then you might be wondering, what's this contraption in front of all this here? Um, we've got... Uh, on this side here of the desk, 
over here, that guy there, um, is the, uh, what is that thing called? It, oh, it's soft tube, uh, console one. Totally had a brain fart there. It's uh, console one, the, the Mark uh, three, I think, or two. I can't remember exactly, but um, it's great. It's control surface. It links with the, uh, with the plugin that it comes with. It comes with some plugins. Kind of show it has a control surface that kind of looks like that. That's separate, and you can load all sorts of different uh, uh, emulations of consoles. Uh, SSL. There's like an API. There's a Neve esque. Um, I'm pretty sure they've they've probably emulated all of those desks, anyways. But um, that's the our EQ and uh, like compressor. You've got compressor here, EQ here, a gate, some other like preamp esque uh, controls along with drive these three knobs here well these two knobs here are drive and character and then that guy is kind of a um, it's a pan which this guy is also console one it's their fader bank so as you can see I'm kind of using it kind of like an analog desk in a way um, and it's got faders, it's got pan. It does kind of some of the same stuff that the other side does, just um, the other side has more control when it comes to the EQs and whatnot. Um, and then, uh, as you can kind of see, we've got Baby Ram by Heritage Audio. That's our monitor controller, and that's just to control our monitors, um, to mute them, dim them. It, it does come in handy. You wouldn't think having the Motu there with its master control knobs they're kind of accessible you wouldn't need it but it does very well come in handy you can hit mono you can hit mute dim different inputs I, there is one input that is set for the daw coming out of the motu and then i think that red number two on this guy right here if i go like that one good knobs but if i go to that one that one's uh just a one eighth in for like iphone or something laptops um, and then we use Logitech uh, keyboards and mouses here, which the trackball I didn't think that I'd like as much um, But after you know months of using it, it's come in handy um, So yeah, if the oh, and you know what else I forgot This guy here is uh, The Mesa boogie cap clone which is hooked into our Vox AC 30 that sits off to the right of me here it's a guitar interface, essentially, well, in a way. It takes your, your power output from, that would power your speakers in your cabinet of your guitar amp from the head into here and converts it into a signal that can be plugged in with a mic cable into the back of your interface or whatever you're using, uh, PA or whatever. Um, and then you can control how much signal you're getting from your signal so you can kind of like crank your amp without waking up the neighbors. It's a really cool, really cool feature. Um, I use that to record guitar a lot. Um, and then obviously, you know, we've got the next to our desk, our, our lovely Alpha 8s, Alpha 80s from Focusrite. So that is kind of uh, our rig of the desk in a, uh, in a hole here which is kind of a cool little little desk here. Um, and I believe the desk is, uh, it's one you can buy from Guitar Center and I'm totally blanking on the name of it. Um, but I'll, I'll try to put a link for all of this stuff down in the, in the comments. Also, in our rack, we have a side rack here, um, which has our hard drives. This rack has our hard drives. It's a side rack here. I may have said that already. Um, I'm waiting for it to focus. And uh, I've got HP6 from Personas there. That's our headphone amp. And that's pretty much all we use on this rack. The rest of the stuff down here, the tape machine, the CD player, aren't plugged in. Actually, I'm not even sure if that tape machine still works or not. Uh, it might. And I know the CD, CD recorder slash player works, but we don't use it very often. Not need for it really anymore. Um, but then there's a Furman that has all of our drives and stuff plugged into it. As you can see, our, our desk is kind of minimalist a little bit. Um, we do a lot of stuff in the box inside the computer with control surfaces and a little bit with uh, compressors 
in and out of, you know, we've got hardware, we've got plugins and stuff. Um, we've got these awesome speakers from Focal that uh, Sweetwater helped us uh, get. Um, so, uh, you know, you guys got any ideas? Like I said in the beginning, send us a comment uh, or an email or something on social media. And we look forward to seeing you guys next time. And don't forget to hit that like button. But definitely we'll see you next time.